In this problem, we're told a box of mass 6 kilograms is accelerated from rest by a force across a floor at a rate of 2 meters per second squared for 7 seconds. Find the net work done on the box. So the first thing you always want to do is draw what's going on. So we have this 6 kilogram box. And we know it's going to start at rest, so its initial velocity is 0 meters per second. And it's going to be pushed with an acceleration of 2 meters per second squared for 7 seconds. Uh, and then, yeah, so we're going to have the box here then. So what are we solving for in this problem? So we know we're going to be finding work. So the net work done on the box. The formula for work when you're working on a flat plane like this is just force times distance. So if we know the force and we know the distance, we can solve for the work. So the first thing we have to do is find the force. So what's the force? So the formula for force, or we're just going to use Newton's second law, which is mass times acceleration. So we know the mass of the box, which is 6 kilograms. So let's write that in. 6 and then what's the acceleration so the box is accelerating they tell us in the problem 2 meters per second squared so 6 times 2 so we know force is measured in newtons and we use standard units so 12 newtons so now we got to solve for the distance which is a little bit trickier but you should know how to do this as long as you know kinematics so um yeah so we need the distance and the way we're going to do this is by using one of the kinematic, uh, kinematic equations which is this one right here so Delta x equals v sub 0 times t plus 1 half a t squared. So probably the most popular one, but essentially we need to find delta x, right? The change in the x or just the distance it travels since it's only going one direction here. Um, and so keep in mind what we know. So if I was going to solve this, I know we got to find delta x. I'm probably going to use kinematics, but do I know these variables? So I know it's going to start at rest, which means the initial velocity is 0. So we do know that. Since this is zero, this value right here, it's just going to cancel. So we just need these. So they tell us the acceleration and they tell us um, how long we're traveling for, right? We push the box, um, right? The force is being pushed for seven seconds, or the box is being pushed. So we know the time is seven and we know the acceleration, which they told us is two. So really the distance D or just delta X is one half times A, which is two times seven squared. So this is just going to become one, right? One half times two is one. So it's just 7 squared, which is 49. And so since we're dealing with standard units, uh, it's just going to be 49 meters. So now we know uh, the force and the distance, so we can just multiply. So yeah, it's just that simple. So work equals force times distance, or 12 newtons times 49 meters. So go ahead and multiply that out. 12 times 49. And you're going to get 588. And so keep in mind, work is measured in joules. So 588 joules, that's going to be uh, the net work done on, the, on this box. So this right here is going to be your answer. And hopefully you found this useful.